Carl, thanks for doing this. What did, what did you, you know, you didn't get the senior bowl, so no combine. What did, what did you want to show today? What do you feel like you needed to show today? And what did you actually show today? Uh, you know, you know, with me missing that, I, I wanted to show everybody my strength and my speed. So getting out there and doing those bench numbers, I feel like that kind of why a lot of people, they didn't expect me to do that many. But in the 40, I wanted to run sub 4-5. So that was something that I also wanted to show. And just going out, just showing me being elusive in and out of, in and out of breaks and just, you know, just playing football. Now what? What's next for, for Kyle Pitts? Do you just sit around and wait for the draft? Definitely don't just sit around. We'll just be training. Uh, getting ready for it, getting ready for it after, you know, we don't know if it's going to be OTAs or not, so I need to get in football shape now and try and trans, trans, uh, translate from combine to all we, you know, doing football stuff, so start running long distance and get my body right for that. And expectations, I mean, you know, everybody's got off the chart expectations. What do, what do you have expectations for you and, and the draft? Would you be disappointed if it's not top five, top six? Uh, no, I'll be, you know, I'm more than happy than even to get the invitation to go to the uh, draft is, is, is something that's you know, a lot of people didn't get to do that, but me being able to get that invitation is kind of special to me. So just you know, wherever the chips fall is where they fall. But if I do happen to go top five, that'd be something you know crazy for me and my family. Sorry, I'm gonna hop in real quick. And are you going? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Edgar, go ahead. Yeah, hey, Kyle. You did tweet something, and like you want to be the greatest to ever play the position, something along those lines. Yes, sir. What it, I mean, it's just starting now, but what's it going to take in your mind? What's your vision there to continue to improve? I mean, you're already like at such a high level, and they're not even what do you turn twenty one in October or something? <laughs> yes, what, sir. What's is that right? Like in yes, October, sir. I think. Yes, sir. So, yeah, I mean, what's, how do you keep building? How do you build on this? How do you keep making steps? I mean, you've already made so many. I would say just it's going to come with consistency over the years. You know, once I enter the NFL, I want to start at a high level and, and keep increasing every year and being able to do, do other things that other tight ends aren't doing, you know, which will make me special. So I feel like at the end of the day, with all the preparation and just through the years, I feel like I'll at the end be the best to ever do it. So is it, I mean, you feel like you're just scratching the surface here. Yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, can you can you speak to that a little bit? I mean, just where you are right now and where you, I mean, obviously your goal, we got your goal now. <laughs> uh, like you said, scratching the surface, there's some, still some things to improve on. I feel like I have a long ways to go. So just taking day by day, you know, improving on something in, every, in a different area of football. So to make me a better player. So that's something that, you know, I want to work on every day doing something mentally, physically, you know, so something along those lines. Thank you. No problem. Hey, did you say me? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, sorry, I didn't hear you. Um, how do you feel like your game translates to the next level, particularly your ability to kind of move around along the line? I think it translates because now in the, at the tight end position, they're starting to be able to get used a lot more in in the past game, you know, back in you know, in the seventies and the nineties, you were lucky to get six for six receptions. So now the tight ends are used backside, three by one, attached, detached, and you know, all these different places. It makes them easy to get, you know, mismatches. So that that's a that's a reception. That could be a touchdown. So just, you know, now it's kinda of the position is starting to evolve and sometimes be wide receiver one, you know, the first read in the in the play. So you never know, but like I said, the position is starting to change and, and tight ends are starting to, I feel like, change the game. And then my other question, obviously every kid, once they start playing football, wants to be a top draft pick at some point. Was there a point or, or when in your football career did you actually realize, like, this, I have a chance that this is something that could actually happen. I could be a top five, top ten pick. <laughs> uh, I would say maybe last year. I knew I still had some things to fix, but I knew once I fixed that, that no one was going to be able to stop me. So once I put the work in, you know, during this pandemic that we went through and we weren't here in the building, I, I took that time. And I felt like that helped me a lot, you know, gaining weight, getting stronger, faster. So that when I came back, if we, you know, when we did have a season and I was ready and I was going to prove it, I was number one. Hey, Kyle, I know we've still got a few weeks here, but just how special is it to you to kind of see all of that hard work coming to fruition here? Oh, it's special because, you know, like you said, just those long days, it kind of got monotonous training. 
training uh, out in California, you know, doing the same thing every day. But you know, the end goal is, is, is the best is the best part of it. So, just being able to keep your head down, stay focused, and, and not lose not lose sight of the of the finish. Thank you. Hey Kyle, has any team talked to you about playing receiver, or, or do you, they feel that you're a tight end at the next level? Uh, no team has talked to me about playing a receiver. Uh, every team is talking about me playing tight end and using me in different ways. And with that being said, is it safe to assume you've probably talked with every last team in the NFL? Uh, not every last team, but I did talk to a couple. Thank you. All right, Cassidy, and I'm closing the Hey, Kyle, let's just call a spade a spade. A tight end going in the top 10 is an anomaly. So what have these past few weeks been like for you? Like when you turn on ESPN, turn on Sports Center, and see your name, you know, like at number two in Mel Kuyper's prospects. And just what is it like? Is it all seem like a dream? When has it started to hit you that this is real? They're talking about me. Oh, well, it's definitely been a dream since I was younger. But, you know, now hearing it and, you know, I don't like to turn the action. I don't, I'd rather not turn on Sports Center and hear all of that. But, you know, you always, you know, somebody going to tell you about it. But. For the most part, it's, it's, it's crazy. But, you know, when the chips fall and they fall, and God willing, I am a top five pick or a top 10 pick, that, that'll be something that's amazing for myself. And it's only up from there. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, Nick. Uh, I think it was 2019, like media day before the season. Um, and we asked you how fast you were. And you said four, five, nine. And like Tyree and Freddie were clowning on you. You remember that? I definitely remember that. <laughs> what they what they say today? I saw both of them there today. I mean, I talk to those guys a, a, a lot, so you know, I was updating them, telling them uh, it's not slow no more. So you know, they they kind of <laughs> knew what I was going to run, but for the most part, you know, that was, that was back then. I got a lot faster since then. Oh, so maybe back then you you were a four five nine guy. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, what what's your, what's this whole process for you like? Obviously, it's different than than in past years, but just training, working out, um, and, and then what do you think the the emotions will be like on, on draft day, on draft night? Uh, it's, it's been amazing just taking everything in, being able to compete with some great players out in California. I got to compete with Justin Fields, J.C. Horn, Michael Parsons, you know, a lot of those top picks. So just being able to go go and train against them, you know, compete, go out there. We, you know, we're battling times. We're in a group chat now. You know, we, you know, we're also in the same agency. So, you know, at the end, I, I can't wait to hear what they said about me today. But, you know, we always competing against each other, you know, keeping each other in high spirits. But, on draft night, I can't even tell you how it's going to go. I, I don't know. I feel like I have no appetite, but it was just be something special. And I just let it, you know, come to me. Draft night's turned into like a red carpet event. Do you have like a, a suit picked out yet? <laughs> I definitely have a, a nice suit. <laughs>